we've reduced price of data by two thirds. Because of AI and, and machine learning, we can actually be able to target individual customers. When we got approval from our board in October 2020 for our, for our Vision 2025, which, is, which was to convert our business from a telco uh, to a, to a purpose-led technology company, um, it was during COVID. So there was a lot of uncertainty. We were giving a lot of transactions free. Uh, some of our business areas were declining like M-Pesa because of free transactions. Uh, the, the 4G uh, connectivity was uh, was less than 70 percent but we still set a very ambitious uh, goal of, of uh, getting to convert our business to a technology company and we made huge progress so the first thing uh, from from a customer perspective we've seen huge uh, growth across the board on all the key areas of our business starting with voice voice has grown by about 50 percent uh, which people thought it was a mature business. Uh, we were not going to continue to grow voice, but we've seen continued growth in usage. Uh, and one of the reasons why usage has grown is we've, we've continued to reduce uh, our pricing and give more value to our customers and also segment our customers. So we give more value to those customers who are more price sensitive. And, and say if you live in the rural areas, uh, if you are a student and you want a uh, certain connectivity service. So we, because we, have, we are now more sophisticated, instead of the one size fits all, uh, we have been able to target all our customers uh, based on their needs. So voice has grown significantly, but we've also been able to reduce uh, the price of voice uh, by more than 50%. The second is on mobile data. That has been the star performer. So mobile data has grown massively. And one of the reasons is, first of all, we have we accelerated through COVID because we realized the connectivity was going to be very, very important. Uh, we closed the gap uh, on 4G coverage. So now we have more than 95% 4G coverage in this country. And now be beyond coverage, uh, which is now the network is available, you need the right devices. So over the past three years, actually during COVID is when we introduced Lipam Dogom Dogo. Uh, which is uh, to give financing uh, that for affordable devices on a pay-as-you-go basis of M-Pesa. Uh, so customers are now able to transition from 2 uh, to 4G. By that time, we had less than 25% 4G penetration, actually 20% 4G penetration. Today, we are past the 40% uh, percent mark in terms of 4G penetration. We now have 23 million customers uh, in our network who are using 4G+. plus. Uh, so 4G customers of probably 23 million and a million using uh, uh, 5G um, uh, or, or already. So because of that acceleration, which has been driven by improved network, but also uh, putting the right devices uh, in people's hands, that has seen huge growth, 3x growth in our data usage. Uh, of course, we have not grown our revenue 3x because we've been reducing price. We've reduced price of data by two thirds. So data is a lot more accessible. Mobile data is now much more afford affordable. And to add to that, we are also uh, giving propositions to individual customer segments based on their affordability. So the youth uh, are being given probably better pricing. Uh, in fact, now we are calling it the marketing segment of one. Uh, because of AI and, and machine learning, we can actually be able to target individual customers. And indeed, actually now we are saying, you can combine voice, mobile data, SMS, make your own bundle.